the jet, which could make things a little bit tricky and difficult for them. Nice nade coming through. There's the follow-up as well through the smoke with the Frenzy. Baby J picks off Superman. Now Baby J still in position, not spotted out. That's another kill for the Killjoy. Looking for another, might find one on Cat. Now it's Corey to connect. And look at the HP of the two remaining players. So low in health. Shanks, the last one alive, has to back up as a nade comes directly towards his path with his 10 health. Quick shots down on the low target. Died for Rise at the beginning of this round. Baby J. The Astro utility currently over towards this A site. Corey playing aggressively, and that's a huge kill and a mistake coming in from Rise as well. Despite the fact that they had control of Tree Room, they left the spike alone on A long. And now FaZe can punish as the only player remaining is Superman. And he's going to need more than all of uh, those extra superpowers as he's surrounded by everyone from phase three. So with the W, just to run across and take mid control. A save round coming in for, for Poise and company, but it's still Poise that gets the first blood. Yeah, and they use the recon dart top mid, but there's no smoke down towards tiles. From Baby J locking on this site. They are spreading to defense thin though. This is a good opportunity to go for a split, and Rise does so towards the A site. Kill coming in for phase, but there's the peak. Again, it's aggressive play coming out from phase. But this time Rise is prepared for it. We've seen how that aggression on A main could work in their favor. The problem It's ooh. been fake smokes actually. Look at the way this is set up too. That yeah. is so instead. So he may actually Hunter's Fury into the catwalk after this cosmic device they can actually rush into the site. This is actually not bad. Baby Bay, too, in a tough position. I actually love that, though, from Baby Bay. Baby Bay just dives through, does get kind of caught in a weird spot, but at the very least stopped the ult from Phoenix and then got the follow-up on a kill. Even better. What a retaliation from the lockdown. It's going to be impossible here now for the last player to win. Derek's in a tough spot. Neptune yep. does get the spike planted. and That's uh, a tough Derek spot, is. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Derek is having a hard time with that one. Baby J goes, player was prepared, so he ran in with no weapon out and awkwardly spots another one and then just runs right back out of the nebula. That said, it still goes well for Rise. Very strange set of circumstances that really split plays one through one. And now that they've been five stacking, it's really difficult for FaZe to do anything about it, especially with the play that's currently coming through. He had no choice but to peek off that. Now, that was a good combination. The nade plus the gravity well to pull them in. Shanks tries to go in fast to the site. Zachary able to get at least an, a follow-up kill. Bait on the A side where they decide to let themselves get caught. Oh, no, that shouldn't have happened. Now, also with Poise dying, you're forcing two rotates out, but it's a one-on-one -on -one against an opera on A site. Superman's dead. He's not going to check this Superman. corner. Superman. The angle for this might be too awkward. No, no. What do you mean? Look at Baby J. Pushing through. We've seen this level of aggression across the map from FaZe. Oh, Baby J is in a really tough spot. Has to go for the dash through, and they just time it well. Catching him on the opposite side, inside the cloudburst. Tori now with the pressure on his shoulders. He's got some backup from Rockus. Times that well and escapes the, the view of the Owl Drone. And that's what makes it so much easier for people to try to waste out the alarm button on mid this time too on the defender side too. There's not much utility being utilized yet uh, on the defender side. And finally we're seeing a triple push up here to, to try to force a rotation towards the A site from B. There's the Hunter's Fury coming out. Rockus able to get the first. Baby Bay with the knives out. Looking for a follow-up. Actually comes up short, but it's okay because Neptune, the person who took him down, is the only member of the team remaining for Rise. And <laughs> Rise struggling to find weaknesses here nice. as FaZe is we've seen a lot of. And I feel like it's worked better when they've passively held long as opposed to going for that peak. Look at Rockus right around the corner. This is the perfect gun for this scenario. So many oh. bullets. But as the peak comes through from Superman, he went to try and kill the alarm bot, which is funny because there was no point. Uh, Killjoy was already dead. Baby Bay, <laughs> what, what are you going to do? He actually is lining up the Cosmic Divide. Okay. So there's going to be dueling Cosmic Divides. They turned the site into an equal sign. And the only thing it equals is a win for Rise. It's Superman puts that 
Smoke down almost immediately. Corey, though, able to go through and punish. There was a lot of damage dealt initially. Nice nade as well into hell just in case. There's no one there. Spike will be planted. Door will be shut. There was an attempt to try to sneak in just for a moment. Door's been broken though. The knife comes through and slashes away at it. Great pistol play again from FaZe here to reduce things down to just two. It's Derek and Shanks both coming in from heaven. One finds a kill. Make it three kills now. It's come down to a two-on-one. This is very winnable for Derek, who's currently on 92 HP. You've got Zachary super low. Baby J is holding the cross. It's all going to come down to timing. There's the jiggle, and that's the information. The swing back almost hits the flick shot onto the killjoy, who's over in individually. We have a three-player stack, a huge crossfire setup. Neptune with the first blood, but it's calming down a bit with Rise on the upper hand. Phase. Trying to get past the, this gauntlet they're running into, and the pistols are just... Brutal. When Rise was on the attack, this time FaZe choose not to get hit, or not to break the dart, so they could kill Noise and get back into the A site, but it doesn't work. Neptune and Superman read that like a book as well, and did not move at all. This mid side gets pushed back by a recon dart, but he still lands a shot. A kill or two here. Maybe pick off Derek, start to initiate or rotate. Oh, huge curveball. There's a big flash around the corner. That's huge. Tons of information gained. A follow-up flash, but it doesn't work out so well for Neptune. It's okay. There's backup there. Oh! At least there was. Shotgun Kakis is holding down the opposite side of spawn. Oh, the unscope. That could have punished them. Baby J is still here, and they weren't ready for it. Baby J on the lurk. We Interesting setup here from FaZe. Trying to strike through from spawn. And again, they lose the controller. They lose their smokes. Zachary is out. Miss knife as well. There's the Hunter's Fury. That actually could do significant damage. There's the first kill. Cosmic Divides come through from both Astras. And there's this weird gap that Neptune has found himself in. He's locked in the void. Sandwiched between both walls. That could work out well or horrible for Neptune. And it actually is the latter as the rocket lands right next to him. Corey knows there's one towards spawn baby base there with the backup on the op. Poise though, chiming in with a shot of his own. It's a two on two. Shanks against Baby Bay. Poised against Zachary. It's the ops that might duel it out here. Right on the other side of that smoke, there's the walkthrough. The second player wasn't spotted. I guess he didn't see him in the, the moment. It's okay because Zachary is for utility towards the tail end. And it was already like you saw it from a mile away, it was gonna be that showstopper that was going to come out from the uh, yeah. from that cosmic divide so they should have been ready for that one for Rise too especially when you're just opening the sidewalk to map point here for FaZe on the first map run it back here moving forward a nice bait from the ult wrong target here from Baby J and Shanks capitalizes to make it a 4 on 4 or sorry a 4 on 5 because uh, Neptune comes back from the running back so he's still alive it's just the bug here we have in the UI That main will keep poised from being able to peek. And then the door can go down. Faze will gain access to the site. Zachary just waiting patiently, peeking through the smoke. And eventually gets a kill. It's all falling apart here for Rise. It's a four on three. No, it's a little bit deceiving. It doesn't look like Neptune's there. He is. As the ult was utilized, there's the dart coming in as well. Missed shot from Baby Bay. Almost connected. Turret goes down. Immediately killed. Zachary is coming in on the flank as well. Making tons of noise to try to distract. You can see it's actually working as Poised is spinning back around. Watching the backside of this play. There's the shot from Baby Bay we've been waiting for. And there... Well, this is going to be a difficult retake. We've seen these before. They do take the challenge straight at them, and it's FaZe currently capitalizing with the kills. Shock darts going out, and there's only one player left. FaZe look fantastic. As he's going to go full shields and a phantom, the setup continues towards the seaside, doubling up with the Astro utility. So they really don't want to play this retake. They just want to fight, and it works out. Superman gets the first blood, and second one! On to Corey. It's that fast play yet again from FaZe. This time, though, it's punished by Rise. Uh, by the people tripping over that boxes. But that said, though, we're trying to aggress back. Running through those hot hands, trying to get this early kill on site. Shanks is there with some backup. So Corey's ult doesn't really result in much. Nice curveball around the corner to flush them back with 35 seconds left. They don't really have too much of a choice, so they're trying to make a play towards the site, but they're losing bodies left and right. It's a three-on-five now as their Cypher also goes down, so both babies out.
And there's such a longer cooldown with the smokes too, so you can't really smoke back towards A Heaven. So they're gonna be out in the open with FaZe trying to run back in. One enemy remaining. FaZe trying to make it work. Without the babies, it's a it's an adult night out. Only by way of Shanks, who's over towards Garage. Shanks is spamming away. It's Baby Bay, though, that flies in with the knives. It's three kills on the round for Baby Bay. And it's full up on the knives. Over where I don't see this often from other jet plays, at least in North America. That I really like that to see Baby Bay on this agent. And just do it. I actually like that, just taking their time with it. Rise looking solid, though, here as the last remaining player is Corey on the opposite side of the nebula. 70 10 HP, seconds 10 seconds left. left. It, it feels like it's been really difficult for FaZe in the rounds where Baby Bay is taken out of the equation so early in the round. And that's happened a few times here in this second map with the op. I haven't had to face too many challenges because Baby Bay, this competition, his counterpart, has largely been silent. Not to say he's not performing well, it's just basically not alive. It's hard to find kills when you're dead. This shot and a follow-up as well, not on the money, so they will gain access to the B site. The spike plant is imminent. Baby Bay, backside site. This is the player we wanted to see a little bit more from, and that's a great way to show it. Getting control of Gong, but now losing the player who planted Spike. Baby Bay goes into the corner. There's the knives coming out, and Shanks is just too potent with the knives. The pistol is just not going to be enough. That There's the pick that FaZe has been hoping for. You mentioned how the op duel was going to happen. And it happens over on the C site. Shanks is gone, and Shanks has been such a problem, but you've still got Superman here, who has also been an issue. I think Superman kind of got confused there a little bit by the shots that came through from spawn. For a second, you saw a look back. Yeah, I, I don't know if he was expecting like a recon dart to be shot at the top two, so he's trying to shoot that out. Again, another one of those moments where he's on his own, and now FaZe is taking over the site. Three players already control out towards Long Shanks. At least has a dash. Nice Ooh. wall bang up to Corey. Hit that shot. It almost felt like he was on the move when the shot came through, but a great shot on to Corey. Neptune going to get sucked into the gravity well and just keeps on going because obviously it's the run it back. Shanks still here, and we talked about it in the last round, how incredibly important Shanks is to this defense. Shanks in the last round, phase one. Shanks alive in this round. Rai's doing a pretty decent job of keeping it even. I just love when you're running through the gravity well just to get a little bit of a speed boost, and that somehow was so well-timed that the... The gravity well just finished by the time it got to the center, so you could just run out and get that information to allow these kills to happen. Although Zachary made things a little bit expensive by dropping the operator. 2v2. Still doable right now. They're trying to get this spike. There's that gravity well, so they might have to go for a non-standard placement on the spike. Oh, no. Baby Bay just caught sleeping, and now this is a problem. Look at the clock left. The round's over. Yep. Well done here for, for Rise, after all. Really want to commit towards this mid-side take. Try to open up really quickly here. Nowhere to run. There's the ult coming out. Hunter's Fury. Doling out some damage, but not a fatality. Kills piling up in both directions, but it is FaZe who's found the lion's share. The problem is the spike is moving towards seat. Good timing on the push through. For you understand for Rise that you have a weak site with only one player in there. This ought to be interesting. A 5-on-5 five five retake. But you've still got this player on the back end of the play in Baby J, who's just toying with them. You've also got Baby Bay here with some support. Baby J is still in spawn, and they've got this lined up quite nicely. The spike is planted for long as well. Zachary playing inside the smoke doesn't even need to. As the round is effectively over, there's a Hunter's Fury coming out. Trying to make things harder as Derek does connect. Hold the phone. It is down to two. The recon dart going down distance. Rockus is there with the final shot on the start things off. You're just dashing into the C site, and it's an open site for FaZe Clan. Just look at the battle from the garage side, and they get melted by a Nano Swarm and two Frenzy combo. And okay, this is looking to be a start of a close game. That's the type of play you expect to see from FaZe. Rise returns the favor in kind. As you get that full-blown, full-W play towards the C site, Spike is planted for long, too, and it's going to be difficult because, again, 
Their controller is out. They don't have any way to smoke this off. They just have to go for it. Now, they do get this fight. No, no, they didn't. They didn't actually get it to halfway. We'll see if that ends up being a major problem for them. Look at this long play around as well that you've got coming through from Garage. Not sure it's even going to matter as it's down to one. But what do you have left going into those to this B-side hold, this Garage hold? Nothing much. But thankfully, you do have a camera from BBG towards mid. So they're expected as mid to see push. Oh man, that gravity well plus the hot hands put them in a really good spot. Baby J couldn't quite get the gun under control, but that worked wow. out really nicely for FaZe. So I think they're going to do this gravity well. And because of the long control is happening, you do see the defense holding back. But three players already stacking up towards this A side. Information being thrown. Baby J looking to push forward. I th That's a big first kill. Problem is, that's not where the spike is headed, and it might trigger a, an alarm response here for phase that's not necessary. Oh, what a it's fight. actually Zachary who has to step up big. That's the kill they needed. Derek, though, oh. on the site. 14 seconds left. Make it a twofer. 10 seconds, Ten seconds on the clock, but doesn't realize that Baby J is on the flank, starting to anticipate that maybe he's coming from somewhere else. The shotgun comes out. to push a little bit towards his mid control. ABJ super close right now. Corey trying to do some heroic plays. It did work with the with the curveball, but couldn't get the kill. Boys with this lurk on C. They just can't seem to get this C defense under control, <laughs> baby bay. Just wrong place, wrong time. Dips his head out of that nebula and realizes how quickly that is going to backfire. Poise is pivotal to this round success, even though he will. There you go. Uh, yeah, so Good he dash. didn't get the pick. I didn't want to cut you off, yeah. but like you could see that gravity well was laid down. I was like, oh, God, is he going to get sucked into this one and not even get that pick off? Yeah, at least for Baby, baby Bay, you could still dash away from that one, so that's pretty good, but they're expecting Rock is in the corner. So it's going to be an easy four. To pull out of position, can Baby Ten Bay survive left. in this spot? That's oh, no. There's the pick, and that's five seconds now left. All he has to do is survive. They go for the plant, but went for the pick, didn't hit what he needed, and this is all. No way that that happened right there. Looking to play the retake here for Team Phase. That hurts. Yeah, that's uh, this is not uh, a retake that is going to do them much good. They're down to three players. Shock darts coming in. Oh my gosh, almost kills the planner. Does get the kill, but it's after the fact. There's a cosmic divide coming in. FaZe is throwing everything they can to this. That's a great flash coming out from Neptune and a quick trade peek from Shanks to bring... I was going to say, we need to see a little bit of something right now from FaZe Clan. You have so many of these rounds now finally into the later half of this game where they're taking... Knows that they're playing aggressive and that drone could give away the position. Do they know there's a second target here? Can Baby Bay make this one work? Baby Bay trying to play off that cage. Also puts himself in a position where a, a getaway could be doable towards right. long with a dash. And they're pinging it. Uh, I, I feel that they, they think that there's going to be a second player. Now that they already have grass control, I'd probably retake the camera from Poison and just throw a camera in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what you want to see. Baby Bay now also going to get timing as he drops off the boxes. Everything is going Rise's way. It's looking like a map three is inevitable as Shanks catches one on the backside of Garage. Zachary inside the smoke. Not even going to get a chance. As he oh, and they're going to port back. This is huge. But do they realize there's two players over towards Long? The first one they anticipate. Corey actually gets a nade after death with Baby Bay there backing up, finding another. The Jet able to connect as well with one more. The shot's not on point. Again, struggling to shoot a target that's not looking at them. Oh, no. The Astra still survives. How is that even possible? Superman staying alive in that position was reloading and found safety and security. Zachary in a great position to just slaughter on the push. You mentioned it. They're not expecting that position, and it's a 1-2-3 kill for Zachary. Derek now the only one left standing. Or he's going to cut through. How low can you go? The limbo coming in for Zachary, and that is unfortunate. You hate to see it. Corey. Gonna spot multiple targets around the corner. That's an awkward flash exchange. 
as a deep smoke comes in from Baby Bay, and he's just laying down damage as they try to make their way out, trying to slow this push down, but with the HP being what it is, didn't have much staying power. Spike is going to be planted here in a moment. Oh, he catches one! Shanks wasn't prepared for a player right around the corner. Great shock dart coming in towards two. The follow-up might actually be coming through. There's a Seeker ult coming out as well. Baby Bay joining his teammate up in Huka, and they're doing a pretty decent job of slowing down this push, but it's all off the back of Baby J. The other two in Huka didn't really get much done. So Baby J's heroics keep things locked at a three-on-three three and make a retake much more possible here for FaZe. Surprised Zachary didn't throw out the uh, counter wall on the defender side to make things a little bit more scary for the attackers to try to get through. Now, there, now he uses it, sorry, for the retake. But the attackers could definitely use this wall against them. Both of them now posted up towards the octagon and also towards Hookah. Here comes the kick out. Yeah, they weren't... Versus the execute, though, as Neptune goes down, the rocket is not fatal. Another ult coming out, this time it's Hunter's Fury. Zachary still here and doing great damage, and Derek, who is behind the play, sending out those pulses of a Hunter's Fury. Can't do much to help the team, it's Fade. Towers, he's able to fault line, the attack's coming out, he throws a rolling thunder, delayed so well for the rest of uh, FaZe, including Zachary, to just get those kills and hold that back. But this round, we have a ping that comes out, uh, Hunter's Fury and a Showstopper to go in combination on the second round here in a row to be won by FaZe. So, you're trying to go fast here with this guy. I actually like this from, uh, from Ryze at least. There's some utility that's spent. They're able to take control of you. And Derek gets the opener on BBJ. Whoa. Oh! How does that happen? Superman spots Baby Bay coming through. Corey, sure, a quick trade coming out. Does Rockus tuck into this corner quick enough? I don't think they saw Rockus here, so Rockus can potentially punish. That Cyber Cage is going to drop before the spike finishes. They actually pull off. And that's what results in that scenario playing out. They can now change positions and find a better spot to go ahead and do this. How does Neptune also pick up a gun? How does that work out? And here they go. They tie up at four piece. The Seeker's gonna go down. Zachary's inside the smoke. They don't hear it. Oh, no. And look at this! He catches him inside Astral Form. That's huge! Zachary finds three kills, drops the spike in showers. It doesn't matter how much control they have of Lamps. Zachary is hunting down the ace. One player remains. And it's Derek all the way back in spawn. Sure, the spike is down, but he's played off of it. He wants the kills as Zachary now goes back towards the spike. Might be able to get it! Just a little short. Have a chance to maybe work for some orb control. We see it already on the attacker side that they're just trying to push Baby Bay back, forcing him through the teleporter, weakening towards Long B, and he managed to get the kill. I know exactly. The hat's been thrown out. That'll be information gathered for boys. Shanks inside lamps. Definitely a thorn in their side. Guiding light going around the corner, and Shanks will escape as Baby Bay has to dodge the flash. Baby J elsewhere. Able to at least get a kill and bring things to an even three on three. And that's the Rolling Thunder coming out. It does cancel the spike. That'll make things a little bit easier for them. The spike will eventually be committed, but it gives them a few more seconds to try to get back into the site. Shots going down th through the wall into Hookah. Not successfully landing. Corey's got one white on the other side. Oh, the timing! But somehow he survives, at least for the time being. Pistols come out for poised, and it's the classic burst that works out nicely for Cypher. Two on two. Shanks. Gets his clock cleaned as Baby J continues his rampage on the site. Low HP for the remaining players, but he can't do much about this one. For the last round, if he dies here, or a kill, which is even better. Zachary, um, okay. Oh, there you go. Eventually gets it under control. Zachary had basically a free kill onto Derek, who was in the Al drone. But struggled initially and that might have been his demise this is going to be a big flash coming around the corner it goes behind oh. that's a collat that's huge now a cosmic divide comes through but there's a smoke coming out from baby bay and with poise being so low on hp even that shorty is an imminent threat if they lurk through this cosmic divide with the right timing oh no poise was able to get up short and prevent that from being a problem baby bay has to escape will surrender the spike plant there's the updraft coming through and that was a pretty aggressive play coming out from Baby Bay, given how they first. 
Let's see if the other one's big enough. It's close enough that it's going to pull him in. It's a Nova Pulse, actually. And another star goes down, and it's, there's just not much that can be done. Has to get this kill almost immediately, and has run out of time. This is really well played and well read from Rise to play on... Maybe even a recon dart at the same time. No, it's going to head towards short A instead. But doubling up here towards the short A side, maybe they get the first blood. Last coming out here from Baby J. <laughs> there's some good backup from Baby Bay with the op through the smoke. And inside what looked to be a Nova Pulse. Oh no! And brings the spike all the way up on site. They've got a triple swing into elbow currently as they go around in the back hallway. And for the most part it works out. That nade could be problematic. As they try to escape its damage path, damage is dealt in exchange. Poise on the flank does get one. Kills piling up in both directions. With the HP of the two remaining players, this is totally winnable for Poise, but the star is going to prove to be a bit of a problem. The fault line as well, and that barely clips Poise, but it's another fault line. That is going to be slightly wasted into you. There you go. Pays the price. Gets fully flashed. Corey also gets a kill with the Spectre, and now we're just battling inside the A site. And some accurate shots coming out from Superman, though. The double burst. Getting a quick kill on the players coming through some showers. Corey does have a nade primed, and it's going to go around the corner. Should help take care of the boom bot, which did spot him. A nade coming back in the other direction. As Neptune goes vertical up on top of APC. Oh, no, that flash is huge. And now it's all up to Zachary, who's coming through. Has the gravity well in position. Orbs control onto showers. Looking to happen in favor of Rise, and it's Neptune with the first blood. Oh, man, Superman. Getting that quick kill on the Baby J. I thought maybe there was even a chance for another one. Shanks gets eliminated. And again, we're back to even strength. Baby Bay, backside sight. There's another smoke going down. They're kind of realizing, hey, you know, we've got these players locked in in showers. I thought for a second we might even see them try to take port and get out, but they continue to fight with them. One more there, one back towards spawn. And that'll be the Al drone flying in that gives that information away. One enemy remaining. And that's a quick shot coming out from Baby Bay. It's all up to Derek to prevent double digits from going on the scoreboard. First kill's gonna be his. Recon Dart goes down, and on that, the swing will come. Shot that Showstopper's gonna be a big piece of this take as they make their way out onto the site. Corey actually gets dropped by a classic of all things. The first kill is gonna be Zachary dropping one. There's Rockus with a shock dart. But FaZe struggling on the initial play in. Derek is still on site with a Guardian. And don't underestimate that gun as it's going to be Rise who cleans up on the B site. To Spike planted. Finished. Shanks picking up the kill on the Baby J. Baby Bay in with the knives. Has to be careful as the dart is giving away the position. There's an ult coming out. That's Corey's ult. So Corey didn't actually ult in the last round. Saved it for this one. The rocket could make a difference here, but... Baby Bay and Rockus. Baby Bay now slicing and dicing. Rockus a little far away, trying to cancel the, the defuse with the ult. Does so successfully. It's a miss though coming in on the knives. The spike is halfway, so Superman's gonna continue to hold on this. Thinks he might be going for it. There's the tap, and now he knows. Oh my. Good swing coming. Here they go flying into the site. There's that stinger play. Picking up an early kill, upgrading oh. to a rifle. A trade is in, though, for Corey. That's great moves coming out from FaZe. No and that's way. another pickoff from Rockus. Not like this. Derek. Effective a stinger in close range battle like that, it's still very effective. And now we uh, break the economy. We, we hurt things up for Rise a bit. Look at Superman. I told you he pops off on this map. 20 and 16 and 1, but unfortunately we need a little bit more. Uh, the Stinger comes out on the defender side. Big fault line and the kills for FaZe to hopefully seal the deal in the series. Really unfortunate as they go for that fast play and the fault line is perfect. <laughs> Baby J so good with that fault line, but Superman still doing damage here with just a judge. Wow. And Ryze has fought their way back into this one. Hold on, it's oh. not over. Superman gets another one. It's down now to the one-on-one. -on -one. It's Zack versus Derek. The spike is planted. But this quickly teetered out of control. Oh, the gun picked up. Zach is on site, and he's hearing the 